Hello friends, today we are going to be reading Library Mouse A Friend's Tale. And look at that. That cute little mouse has gray ears and peach skin and he's holding a big pencil. So let's see if he writes books or draws in books. He's a bad habit of drawing books, I think. Sam was a library mouse. He lived in a little hole in the wall between children's reference books. Sam loved to read, and he loved to write, too. Everyone loved his little books, but Sam was very shy, and no one at the library had ever met him. Once, once a week, the children at the library met for Writers and Illustrators Club. For our next project, said Miss For Forrester, the librarian, I would like all of the boys and girls to work with a partner. One of you will be the author, the other the other one of you will be the illustrator. You will find out how teamwork can make a great book. At the end of the meeting, there is one child left standing by himself. Don't worry, Tom, said Miss Forrester. I'll be happy to work with you. When night came, Sam Library Mouse went to do some research for a story he was planning to write. All night long, he studied, jotting down things on his notebook. But as the sun rose, his eyelids grew heavy and fell asleep. Squeak! Sam woke up with a start as children filled into the room. In his hurry to escape, he left his little notebook behind. Tom discovered it on librarian's desk. Carefully, he opened the cover and turned the pages. Then he went to tug at Miss Forrester's seat. What's this? said the librarian, flipping through the notebook from the titles of the stories in here. I would guess this belongs to Sam, our mystery author. He's written so many books, and yet we've never had the pleasure of meeting him. Let's put it back on your desk said Tom, so Sam will find it. Look, mouse tails. Mother Goose's mice. These bad mice. Three bad mice. Mice poems. The mystery of Mouse Mansion. A mouse's life. Lonely cheese. Grandpa Mouse's house. <laughs> Discard. <laughs> That night, Sam climbed onto the librarian's desk to look for his notebook. He hurried back across the desk with his prize in his arms. And the mouse stepped across an ink pad and left behind a trail of footprints. Good morning, Miss Forrester said to Tom when he arrived early the next day. Did you bring some ideas for the story we can work on together? Look, my, my truck is stuck over the floor. Not yet, said Tom. Then he noticed the inky marks on the librarian's desk. He saw that Sam's notebook was gone. Impossible, he thought. And he, and he was sure no one was looking. Tom got down on his hands and knees and peered beneath the library shelf. And around the baseboards, not quite certain what he was looking for, suddenly he saw a little hole in the wall. Now he knew why Sam always seemed to write about mice. Tom tore a piece of cheese from the snack he had brought and left it, it by the opening. Oh no, Sam cried when he stepped out of his hole that night and saw the cheese. Who could have left it? He wondered. And what do they want? Sam thought it might be best to leave the cheese alone and pretend he had never seen it. The next time Tom came to the library, he found the cheese looking dry and lonely, just where he had left it. He replaced it with a peanut butter cracker. Maybe Sam would like this better, he thought. Indeed, when Sam awoke and smelled the cracker, it was all he could not do to gobble up the treat.
clearly someone had discovered his hole. Sam hoped that if he ignored the food, whoever it was would go away and forget about him. Tom did not forget about Sam. He thought about writing a letter to the library mouse. But he wasn't sure what to say. He got an idea. He sat down and started to write a story. It was called The Shy One. This is how it began. Once upon a time, there was someone who was very shy. His name was Sam. People seemed to make him nervous. The children at the library knew that Sam was like, but did, knew what Sam was like. Because the books he wrote, nobody really knew who Sam was. And, it, and that seemed to suit him just fine until one day... When he finished writing, Tom folded up the paper and left it just outside the little hole in the wall. That night, Sam read the story from beginning to end. Tom had discovered that one thing Sam could not resist. A story! Sam grinned. He remembered Tom was a regular, was as a regular at the library. I've got an idea, he said to himself went to his hole and got to work. And got to work. Tom arrived later that week at Ryerson Registration Club. He felt a little guilty. He'd been so busy about thinking about Sam that he'd forgotten to do his assignment. He got down on his hands and knees to look behind the reference, beneath the reference books. The paper hadn't, had left there was gone. He had left there was gone. Then he heard the library's voice. Tom, what's this I found on my desk? I brought I thought you decided not to work on a book this week. And I found the shy one written by you and illustrated by Sam. I can't wait to share it with the group. Oh no, that Tom story had story he had written had been meant for Sam to see. What if Sam had drawn a boy and a mouse? Miss Forrester read about it, read it out loud. Everyone would knew who Sam really was, and then what? Someone might try to hurt him or chase him away. Please don't read the story, Miss Forrester, Tom pleaded. You should be proud of your work, the librarian said kindly. And wonderful that you did a book together. I can't wait to hear more about who Sam really is. When everyone was seated, Miss Forrester held up the little book. In this Tom, in this Tom and Sam's first book together, they discovered the rewards of friendship and teamwork. By Tom, illustrated by Sam. Once upon a time, there was someone who was very shy. His name was Sam. People try, people seemed to make him nervous. The children at the library knew what Sam was like because of the books he wrote. Nobody really knew who Sam was. See him soon and just fine. Until one day, someone discovered Sam's secret. It was a good thing he only wanted to be Sam's friend. He only wanted to be Sam's friend. Come on, Sam, said Tom. Let's do it together. And they did. Miss Forrester read the story from beginning to end. Miss Tom and Tom was amazed to see the pictures that Sam had drawn. The illustrations showed two mice instead of one. And one of them was named Tom. So tell us, said Miss Forrester, just who is the Sam who writes so many of our books? I just have to ask, is it you? Oh no, answered Tom with a shy smile. I just wrote the story. Sam is real. He, but he likes his privacy. So, that, so that's all I'm going to say. A friend knows how to keep a secret. When the library was ready to close, Tom was sure that no one was watching. He bent to the place, someone, something on the floor beneath the children's reference books. Sam 
Sam awoke that night to find a note outside of hole, his home. Thanks, partner. Great work. Your friend, Tom. Sam sat down at his desk and had an idea for his own story about friends. He couldn't wait for Tom to read it, and maybe this time his new friend would draw the pictures. His new friend would draw the pictures. The end. I hope you enjoy this. And...